the man of the moment in a rich vein of form and number one on the scoring charts. Can he do it again today, live on EA TV? A splendid day for football here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Arsenal and they face Bournemouth. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Number five, Thomas Partey. Number 35, Gabriel Martinelli. And number eight, Martin Odegaard. Good luck. Good game. Hey. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks. Good game. Thanks. Have a great game. Thanks. Good game. Thanks. Cheers. Good luck. Thanks. Hey. Good luck. Good luck. Cheers. Good game out there. Good luck. Here are the starters for Arsenal. And Bonafont is the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And here's how it looks for Bournemouth. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations. And their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And the match is underway. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Well, now that I'm going to say this, it'll no doubt go the other way, but it should be a mismatch. I say that because it's the best attack in the league, hosting a team who've had their challenges on the goal-scoring front, Stuart. Well, Derek, when you look at those stats, these fans should see more goals from their team today, but they'll still need to play at a high tempo and put in a good display, I think. And options in the centre. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. Well, not giving him any breathing room. And he's lost custody of the ball here. And the cross goes in. And a wretched cross, really, over everyone. We're showing good defensive judgment. Happy birthday to Nathan and Good tackle taken away. Oh, they've lost it. Philip Billing. And he takes it on. And a body in the way. 
still level here, but the pressure escalating. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. In a short corner, let's see. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Brooks. It might be on for them. And he takes on the shot. Oh, off the post, and behind it goes. Well, he did everything right there, but he doesn't quite get it inside the post. That would have been a brilliant goal. Ezzy. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Maitland Niles could be threatening defensive efficiency personified well Bournemouth have really started to dominate the play over the last 15 minutes and created a hat full of chances but when you're enjoying that amount of possession you need to make it count can they trouble the opposition this time oh a vital interception and a good take under duress there. Harrison. Gabriel Martinelli. It's opening up for them. And there is the opening goal. Well, arguably against the run of play. They've been second best up to this point. But they have the lead. Well, as you can see here, it all starts with a perfectly weighted ball in behind the defenders. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Fali. And Brooks in possession. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. And the referee blows for a foul. And who knows, that might be the end of the story for them in this one. Well, I'm sure you're right. He's just lost his discipline there. It's an uphill battle now. That is that for the first half here. Second half underway, and Arsenal looking to build upon a largely positive first-half performance.
Ezzy. Harrison. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Arsenal facing Aston Villa. Fluency of movement. Can he get them level? And the keeper more than equal to the task. Fali. Pepelu. Billing. Defended well. Billing. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Benjamin Henrichs. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Bournemouth facing Manchester City. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium and two very good teams. Now can they make something happen? It needs an accurate cross. Billing. Difficult to stop him. And they got into that crossing position but dealt with defensively. Battagini throw-ins given and the substitution will occur now Billing superb block Advantage, he's in with a chance. Is it going to be? And far from textbook defending. Oh, that's well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. What can they do from here? Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Is this the moment? Sends it back. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Well, that save has just about kept them in this. But they need to create chances of their own and quickly if they're to get a result here. Traore. And into an attacking position. It's not too late for them. This could be the equaliser. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Billing. Oh, how on earth has he missed that? What a glorious opportunity. Well, the flag's gone up and he was offside, but he didn't know that when he took his shot. Substitution for well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. To be replaced by 29, Reese Nelson. Substitution for Bournemouth. Coming off the pitch. Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium. These supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. Manuel Lazzari. Be able to get in behind the defence. This could be it. Could be. And fired against the crossbar. A high degree of difficulty with that sort of attempt. Well, he's just mistimed it, hasn't he? Didn't catch it how he would have wanted. And well, that's the result. Hill 
Philip Billing. So there goes the final whistle. It ends in a victory for Arsenal. Maximum points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win.